A coalition of social cultural organizations converged on Benin City to share their concerns over what they consider as the position of a do state government on the claims by one Arisco Semige to the sovereignty of the Benin throne in 2015. The coalition gives reasons for their worries, noting that the Oba of Benin and his kingdom remain a strong unifying bond for the Benins and all. We read a letter of one ex convict called Arisco Semige to the Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice of a district, where Forty referred to himself as both Chief of Giamie of Benin Kingdom and Utata, and the stated letter surreptitiously didn't agree that Ogiamie is a chieftaincy title as only recognizable by the Benin Traditional Council. We are therefore not surprised that with this obvious show of arrogance and falsehood, exhibited by Arisco or Semige, that the Attorney General of Edo State considered to his deception. The palace is us. We are the palace. We are not going to take any no for anybody that think it can cause problems in the kingdom. The Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Uluwale Yamu, speaks on behalf of the state government. He explains that Arisco Semige renounced the claims for which he was taken to court. We are saying this gentleman has lost the civil case. It has been dismissed. He has now written to the, this office to renounce all claims about being the emperor of any Utata nation and of being in competition with the Oba of Benin. That letter was received in this office. That itself, I would have thought, was a major victory in setting the record straight because he recognized the sovereignty of the Oba of Benin. The Commissioner for Justice says the Gordon Obaseki-led administration believes in the supremacy of the Benin monarch. 